Hi everyone, it's me Nikki here with a five minute crock pot dish. I'm going to make a flan in a crock pot. This is actually a collaboration video with Annie Simple Life and I want to thank her for inviting me to this collab and also the channel OCD Much is joining us on this collab. So I'll put both of the channels below in the description box. So definitely check out their five minute crock pot dishes. So let's get started. Okay, so one of the requirements is that we show you a dish in which you can get into your crock pot within five minutes. And so what you're gonna need is you're going to need these ramekins for my dish. And what is going to happen is I'm going to see if they fit into my crock pot because I wanna make four of them. And the fourth one doesn't fit to the bottom, but that's totally fine. It's totally going to work. So let's move into the ingredients. You're going to need sweetened condensed milk, a 14 ounce can. You also are going to need whole milk or 2% milk, either one will work and it's 14 ounces that you need along with three large eggs and then some Smucker's toppings or any caramel flavored topping that you of your choice and I'm going to tweak this recipe a little bit and add this ground vanilla from Madagascar that I got in my globe inbox one of my subscribers when I showed the the basket they said you know why don't you do a flan with that so I thank my subscriber for inspiring this recipe so let's get started So in a bowl, what you want to do is you want to add in the entire can, that whole 14 ounces of that sweetened condensed milk. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that can and you're simply going to add in your regular milk, your whole milk or 2%, whatever you choose, into the can because you're also adding in 14 ounces and you might as well use the can to get the perfect measurement along with it will clean out the rest of the little bit of condensed milk that is in there. We then add in all three of our eggs and from that point you simply are going to take your whisk and you're going to whisk it well. Now when you whisk you want to just make sure you blend it well until the condensed milk is thinned out and everything is just kind of um, you combined very well. I then pour my mixture into a glass Pyrex measuring cup to make it easier to pour into my ramekin. To prep the ramekin, I take the caramel flavored topping and I pour it in about a tablespoon in the bottom of each ramekin. Now when you pour it in the ramekin, you want the entire bottom to be coated. So I basically put the tablespoon in and then I kind of just twirl it around just so that bottom and around the edges can be coated so that when I flip my flan out, I have all that beautiful yummy caramel just overflowing. I love that. So then you're going to pour your mixture on top into your ramekin and you want to go to that inner lip don't go beyond that because that's the perfect height uh, for your filler you're now ready to put it in your crock pot but first what you want to do is you want to put about a half an inch of water into your crock pot then you sit the ramekins in there now remember that that fourth ramekin is going to be lifted a little bit because my the size of my crock pot can only fit three perfectly and then that fourth one's on top is fine you put the lid on there you're going to cook it on high for two hours and from that point you'll start to see it bubble up when you see kind of it lifted up you know that it's done after two hours this is going how it's going to look and so then you take it out gently with some mint so you don't burn yourself but you take it out put it on a rack in your refrigerator for about two hours to let it set and then when you do that you have the perfect flan ready to go. This is such a neat dish to do if you're having a dinner party or just for some a couple friends coming over, you can really impress them with it. And it absolutely has to have coffee with it because they complement each other beautifully. And I want to thank my subscriber who recommended this recipe to me when I had showed the vanilla flavoring because it was such a perfect, perfect one for me to do. And I love that I was able to do the crock pot one, but I actually found the recipe from magicalslowcooker.com. I'll put their link below. Now, one thing when you're serving up, you want to take your knife and you want to break the flan away from the ramekin. So gently take a knife and just go around the edge, flip it over on a plate and tap it down and you have a beautiful flan. And I'm telling you, this tasted so delicious. I put no cream or sugar in my coffee because the sweetness of this was just perfect with the just black coffee to me. I just love that. You know, it was really delicious and so easy. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.